and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Today we're going to be looking at something that happened over the weekend, and it's actually in regards to a video, well, two videos, I posted yesterday. One which was MBA, and that he done a lot of threats towards people, Nick Ricada, anyone who supported I Stand With V, and... He deleted that uh, live stream because, again, that live stream was a little bit on the old. <sighs> Shouldn't have said that, mate. You know, that's very spicy. And if anything happens, you could go down. And, well, he deleted that stream. Then he decided to upload a video onto Twitter where he was saying that <laughs> if anyone re-uploaded his deleted live stream, he was going to have him hit with a false copyright strike under threats of violence. And it's really funny because he's the one who actually said those threats. So he's reporting anyone who uses his threats against him. Anyway, moving on. Then he actually made an apology video where he said everything he did was wrong. Which, again, I did cover. And I'm happy that he did that because, again, the things he said, you can't go on saying them on a public platform as he did. It's just going to cause trouble for a lot of people. And... He decided to delete his YouTube videos then, and they're going for the... He deleted his Twitter and everything else. But on the 6th of October, someone actually tagged the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation into a link of the video where he's actually doing these threats. And I saw this this morning, and I was just like, oh my god, what has happened? And what has happened is Tennessee Bureau of Investigation actually responded and they said the following thanks for bringing this to our attention so with that now it's really don't know what's going to happen with that mostly because well if they've involved and with him saying he's an ex-gang member he knows people he can get things everyone else to do his dirty work for him those are liable threats those are threats that people need to take seriously and the way he has done it, it was wrong, and I can see why he got upset in the first place. But then again, I can also see why people will be like, whoa, what's your problem? Because it's the internet. Everyone has a bad thing on the internet said about him. Doesn't mean you have to go and threaten them by saying you're going to put him in the ground. You know, that sort of thing. And... If I'm correct in saying this, if I'm not, please uh, let me know. But it was something to do with someone called him gay on the Nick Ricada live stream, and it was a super chat, and Nick had to read it out. And if that is the case, then he has very thin skin. And being a commentary channel and doing everything else on YouTube, you really need to have a thick skin and broad shoulders. You need you need to take whatever's thrown at you. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know? That sort of thing. You can't have thin skin when someone says at you and then you're going all out. And I do believe as well, say, because I did watch one of his streams where he said that he's been doxxed quite a few times. Again, I don't condone that. I think that's wrong. And if he was doxxed, I understand even more why he would lash out like that. However, that's not the right way to do things this day and age. You do need to get everything and hand it into the police. Which is what he actually said in the apology video, which is brilliant. And I hope he has that sorted and law enforcement can take the correct route. But when you go on Twitter as well, you see a lot of people. He's like, oh, he was just angry, got it all wrong. If he's an ex-convict, doesn't mean he's still a bad person. In my eyes, again, with people who have admitted to doing a lot of bad things in the past... It's still in them, no matter what. They may be a good person, nothing may have happened for years or whatever, but something needs to go off, and all you need is to have that switch in your head just slightly touched, and you will go back to the person you used to be. This is a perfect example, because this live stream he did, where he was saying all of this stuff, that's exactly what I'm on about. It's... He's a father, you know, he's, he's a husband, he's got a family, he's taking care of them, great. But when you go revert, when you revert back to saying those things, I know people, they'll do this, they'll do that, oh hell, I'll do it myself. No, you just, you just can't say that. And if you're saying he's changed, if he's saying those things, he has not changed. 
That's the sad thing about this. I've agreed with the NBA in the past on a video or two because some of the things he said, I'm like, yeah, that's right. That is correct. But when you go out of your way then to start saying things like that, that's like, no, you've taken it too far, mate. What you're saying is completely wrong. And with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation now, who are the actual state's leading law enforcement agency in Tennessee, with them now involved, we have no idea what's going to happen. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, we will find someone. And I really do hope nothing bad comes of this. And I really just hope they have a quick chat with him and say, you can't do it. That's it. I don't want anything to happen. But if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. Spread the video far and wide. And I'll see all you lovely people soon.